everybody say hit? Yeah. Well, somebody was saying fly. Somebody got what? Well, it was an arrow thing, right? And kind of a funny looking, like, housey thing, and a hat that might be on the side.
So if we want to make a change for young people or for ourselves even, uh, it has to start with self-talk, how you talk to yourself. And as I said, that, that can be done deliberately and you can help do that by helping to influence their self-image. Any questions? How do we do that? <laughs> How do we intervene? By the way, when we talk to students. So we know this, our self-images influence our performance. As a teacher or a mentor, we can help to raise the aspirations by the way that we talk to our students. But in fact, we don't even need to talk to them. A lot of it can be non-verbal. The way you smile and the way you look at them and so on. I've had experiences where I go into schools and I've been in the staff room and, and a teacher, the bell will go to you and say, oh, I've got a bunch of shitties now, we have teaching. <laughs> okay, that's the expectation of the students, difficult class, right? So what kind of, <laughs> you can see my point, what kind of, of um, non-verbal communication is going on in that classroom? <laughs>